Have you ever noticed these conical pits made of fine sand particles, like the bottom of an ice cream cone or a miniature volcanic crater? About the size of a 50 cent coin, and often in groups, usually in a spot sheltered from rain, facing north and in loose soil. Have you ever taken a few minutes to sit down and see what happens in these things? Lurking in the loose soil under the pointy end of these structures is a remarkable insect larva called an antline. Built from the bottom up, the antline uses its shovel shaped head to chuck up loose dry sand and form what is a sand trap. Once completed, the antline patiently waits till an unsuspecting insect, such as an ant, falls into the trap. Cunningly constructed, the fine dry sand particles prevent the prey from easily climbing out. Unable to get a grip, they tumble down to the pointy end of the trap. Should the prey look like escaping, the antline flicks sand at it, knocking the prey down again. Sometimes the larva can be seen trying to bump the prey back down from under the sand. Once at the bottom of the trap, the prey is grasped by the antline, immobilised, pulled under the sand and consumed. The remains are later flicked out of the pit. Only four to six millimetres long, the antlion larva is short, fat and bristly. With a spade-shaped head and massive jaws, it scuffles backwards through the soil, probably to keep the sand out of its eyes. When mature, it pupates and emerges as long, thin, graceful winged adults who mate, lay eggs, from which new larvae hatch and so complete their life cycle.